Hello coin collectors out there. Got some great looking presidential quarters for you here in this video. These ones I plucked out of circulation and are in exceptionally great condition. These are the first three that were in the presidential series. And I'm guessing someone took these out of a mint set and put them in, into circulation because they're barely a scratch on any of them. So we're going to get into uh, these coins and talk about the metal content, the mintage, the value, and a little bit about each of these presidents. So the presidents we have here are the first three presidents in order. Uh, we have George Washington, John Adams, and Thomas Jefferson. Now these are actually out of order, but let's... Uh, I'll read them to you in order. So we'll start with uh, G.W. himself, the very first president and the only person to be elected uh, unanimous uh, president to the United States. So he was the first one, and everyone voted for him. After that, there were always um, some disagreements as far as who the president would be. So as you can see by the inscription at the bottom, he was the first president from 1789 to uh, 1797. Now, if you flip it over, the first thing you should look at for this coin is if there are any uh, writing on the rim. If there isn't any writing on the rim, it can be worth a lot of money. Uh, but as you can see, this one right here does have writing. And it says uh, the date on it right there. It might be hard to read or hard to read or see in this video, but it says 2007D, indicating that it's from the Denver Mint. So the mintages for these coins, uh, for this George Washington coin, there were 163.6 million minted at the Denver Mint, 176 million at the Philly Mint, and 3.9 million proof sets uh, made at the San Francisco Mint. There were also some coins uh, with satin finishes as well, but I don't have the mintages on those. So the metal content for this coin and all of the, uh, the two other subsequent coins that I'm going to be talking about is a magnesium brass combination, which consists of 88.5% copper, 6% zinc, 3.5% magnesium, and 2% nickel. The weight on them is 8.1 grams. Diameter 26.5 millimeters. Now that's going to be the same for all of the presidential coins. So luckily I won't have to repeat that for the other ones I have. So there's the man, George Washington. You probably learned plenty about him in history class. The next president after George Washington was the man, John Adams. So John Adams was the second president. He was president from... 1797 to 1801. So we can zoom in on him right there. As you can see, this coin is in great shape as well. Um, here I can adjust the angle for you there. So you can see that there barely is a scratch to this coin. So it's just in great shape. An interesting fact is that uh, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson really didn't get along very well, especially toward their older years. Another interesting fact about the two is that they both uh, died on the 4th of July. So we can flip this coin over too. Uh, we can see that there are some inscriptions on the side here. We can see 2007D, uh, similar to what we were looking at with the George Washington coin. And that shows us that this, in fact, wasn't an error coin uh, because we can see the inscription on the side. And here we have the third president, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, I forgot to tell you the mintages for that John Adams coin. The mintages are 112 million for Denver, 112 for Philly, and 3.9 proof coins. 3.9 million, obviously. Uh, the third one, uh, the third president, this coin was also made in 2007. Flip it over to its rim, and we can see that on the side. This is from the Denver Mint as well. Uh, Thomas Jefferson notably did not get along well with the previous president, John Adams. And Thomas Jefferson was the third president. He was the president from 1801 to 1809. Now, this coin has the same metal content as the previous two. 
and there were 102.8 million at the Denver Mint, 100 million at the Philly Mint, and 3.9 million proof coins made as well. So I'll zoom out and you can kind of see all three of them here. We have Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and George Washington. So all three of these coins were made in 2007. In 2007, uh, there was also the James Madison coin that was made in November. These are the first three that were made in February, May, and August. So I don't have the James Madison here, but I've got another video about that if you want to see that particular presidential coin. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on my channel. And have a great day, everyone.